Valley Point, North Carolina, where today an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament is on the line as the Longwood Lancers face the UNC Asheville Bulldogs. We got the five seed in the two seed. Winners in a pair of overtime thrillers in December and Zapala. With the jump and the Bulldogs win it. What style of play are we looking for here early with these two teams? Half court execution. That's what this game is going to come down to. Each team running their actions and looking for each other. Not trying to play hero back. UNC Asheville. Player of the year, Pember. Banks, Burgess, who leads the league in assists. Toya Solomon, one of the most athletic players in this league. Takes the jump shot right on cue. How did you know? I've he seen the a, script. He had an outstanding game yesterday. Great finisher. Outstanding vertical athlete. I thought he was the difference maker yesterday for Asheville, along with Drew Pember. Christmas. Spots open. For three. Longwood was down by 15 with 12 and a half to go. What a tremendous comeback. D.A. Houston gets his mitts up. Here's Granlin. Christmas. Pump fake. To the rack. <laughs> the last two plays, Christmas with the three. This time he shot fakes it, goes to the basket. Pember throwing it up to the big man, Toyaz Solomon. UNC Asheville trying to make it back-to-back -to -back tournament appearances. Going for their sixth overall. Longwood looking for their second in the last three years. Good feed inside, and that one rolls in. Manuel Richards, fine freshman season inside Ziemi again. Thought it might have been a travel. Instead, inside Richards. Skying in and putting it in. How about Napper with the rebound and the assists? Three of their last four wins have come against either High Point or UNC Asheville. Burgess gets his man in the air. Nice acrobatic shot. That's the way. It's Waylon, Waylon Napper, second team all-conference performer. Number one in the dark blue. Pass inside and off the glass. Freeze, that's what they'll allow him to take. You have to keep Drew Pember off the free throw line. He's top 10 in the nation in free throw rate. Contest his threes, keep him out of the paint. Ziemi again! <laughs> Johan Ziemi! Morrell, you just saw Mike Morrell both in their six seasons at their respective schools. Mike Morrell said, Longwood wants to make this a rugby fight. They want to make it a football match, a football game. It's Apollo right now! Inside! Asheville needs to take a stand defensively. They're moving their feet, but they got to chest up, wall up a little bit more, and give some resistance to the penetration and the post ups of Longwood. Zapala calling for it. Napper says, I got you from three! Now he made some threes yesterday that were crunch time, including one that was banked in. That one was nothing but nylon. Largest lead, it's 14. Sloppy pass from Pember, another turnover, 11-0 run, 13-0 run. Out here to high point. Josh Banks needed that one. Don't That's their first three, they were 0 for 5 from deep. Don't forget Matt, Asheville shoots it. Great look. No points in more than three minutes here for the Lancers. Nice pump fake there from Christmas. Massey. He hurt you. He real early. It can hurt you in the second half because you can lose momentum. This is a different situation here for Longwood. They're, they're used to coming back. They were down big in the first half against High Point yesterday. Fletcher Amy. That's the man. He can open up the game for driving lines for Drew Pember. He can make consecutive threes in any game. Christmas. That's a couple of rim runs there for Michael Christmas. Toya saw Drew Pember had a double-double in the quarterfinals, a triple-double yesterday in the semis. No points so far today. How about that pilfer from Jonathan Massey? Going all the way, tipped away from Pember. Zapala with the foot. Hempson free throw makes the Drew Pember. He was wanting those three free throws. They're going to have to work for it now. 
Maybe off the curl. Gets his man in the air. Okay. A simple action. Little clock. Got to get it off. Do they see it? Banks. Napper does a great job of rebounding down for a guard. That allows him to start the fast break. Napper. My goodness, what a move. It was a soft pass, quite frankly. And the defense was anticipating on the weak side. Drew Pember, three turnovers, zero points. Solomon. But really the bright spot. The low bright spot here along with Amy. Asheville in the paint. Being outscored in the paint, 22 to 4. In the first 16 minutes, Sapala in the paint, seven footer, making it easy. Grandlin. Griff Aldridge said Grandlin's going to get open looks today. He's going to hit him. Misses his first. Burgess inside. Pepper finally on the board. His first points. Easy. The ball goes in. It's comfortable. Now he may get more confident. Grandlin. Pump fake. Bounce feed. Right hand. Off the glass and good. That's Emmanuel Richards. And they have executed to a tee. It's got to repost. Stephanie banking in a three from a similar spot where Napper did it yesterday in that semifinal win against High Point. Just their third made three of the first half, three of 13 as a team. They'll take it. Thought he had one more to the corner. Granlin, baseline move, foul by Pember. See it from Finland? 30 Eastern on ESPN2. The Zags have played in every West. He's here in the last five minutes. 15 point lead inside. Grandlin again. Easy catch. And they do call the foul. And Grandlin will go to the line again. For Asheville, has been non existent in the first half. To go. It was a week ago that Longwood. That was a foul. Drew Pemmer will go to the line. Longwood, 30-point triple-double yesterday. Just cannot get it going today. Our ESPN. This team for UNC Asheville is top 12 nationally. As Winthrop in the first game. That's why they got by the Eagles. Another great free throw shooting team. Six second differential between shot and game. It's a pallet calling game. Gets the bucket. They've got 40 first half points. And Mike Morell is hot at Drew Pember because there was no rotation. Pember misses. Will go to the free throw line. That foul on Zapala with 5.5 to go in the first. 18 point lead for Longwood. Make it 17. And it was an outstanding comeback by the Lancers. Grandlin looking to inbound. Here's Massey. Massey. Two. One. Throws it up. Zapala. They're going to look at it. It looked like it got off in time. Zapala came back down with it. It looked like it. Let's take a look at this. The penetration again into the paint. Zapala waiting for it upstairs. The catch does come down. He got it off. 18 point lead. That is UNC Asheville's largest halftime deficit of the season. That includes non-conference play as well. Grandlin inside, working on Pemper. Back out to Napper. Look at the paint points, 30 to 6. Michael Christmas has had some of those paint points against a couple more. 10 four-round fights, four-minute fights. And this opening round of this second half is certainly going to be huge. Nice paint inside Houston, but Zapala lost it on the way up. Yeah, no easy baskets for Longwood. Challenge them at the rim. Christmas. Oh, yeah! Zapala and A.B. looked like they got into it, and now we've got some players getting after it. Griff Aldrich standing in the middle saying, guys, back away. Griff Aldrich telling Toya Solomon, get away. Mike
technical fouls is what we will have. So did not factor in the leaving the bench. Sapala got a good free throw. Seven footer, originally from Poland. One. Their defense has been so consistent in this game, Longwood. Napper flips it to Grandlin. Napper gets his own rebound into Zapala. Draws the foul. The play and lead of our team. When he plays well and plays hard. From today. And our man Joe Lenardi working overtime right now. To the free throw line. Pember was deferring in the first half. He needs to try to take over in the second. Grandlin, open three. Aldridge said Grandlin. Do those free throws count as four points? They could if you miss it <laughs> at the offensive rebound and make a three. No more jump shots, I'm telling my team. Right to the rack. And he points the finger at himself. He said, look, I, I've had a hard time reaching this team. This team has demanded more of me. It was a feel-good shot. I'm feeling good, so I'm going to shoot it. Battle. Nearly lost it. Burgess inside. McMullen. It's all you're looking for right now if you're Asheville. Fight and heart. Fight in a way of just being active and aggressive. And how much do you want it? How much heart do you have left? And when you've got an all-conference point guard who's going to have the ball a majority. Second team all-conference. Second year in this program, infinitely better than the first. A couple of years ago, right now he's trying to close the door on another. Burgess pump fake inside McMullen. Morrell call for the full court press. Out. Because if Longwood decides to attack the, the traps and the press, they'll score. If not, Asheville will get back into the game. Napper. Oh, yeah! I know what he wants to do. He wants to keep his foot on the gas. Nice feed inside. That was to McMullen. You think about Napper. Started the year 0 for 17. Christmas inside. Zapala. Pepper fell! And Zapala throws it down. Posting up like a man inside. He played terrific yesterday against High Point. He had 14 points in the second half. All of 6'10. Pember draws the contact. Kind of came off the bench. Now he's really a focal point over the last. And he comes to Longwood. And this year they're now with nine points. They may need Tyjon Jones back. <laughs> Give him a uniform. He buried. A handful of threes in that comeback last year against Campbell. Tyson Jones, career leader, made threes, ran out of eligibility after last year, and Longwood not running out of gas. For Christmas and Zapala have carried the scoring, but their team defense and their utility players have stepped up. Mullen. Oh, Toya Solomon, did you see that? Just took the blueprint. Ryan Odom and has built a contender in the Big South. I was at that game, the UMBC for, uh, Virginia game, and they just took the fight to Virginia all game long, just like they're doing this afternoon against Asheville. Called the VCU game earlier this year, talked to Ryan Odom. Said, hey, I just talked to Griff a couple of days ago. It's like, oh, he's doing a great job there in the, the Burgess. It's here today. Christmas talking to him on the sideline. You still have to stay focused on your game plan if you're Longwood. Stay disciplined on both ends. Don't do anything to give this away. Grandlin again. Aldridge called it yesterday. This team has found their identity in March. They're plus seven on the glass. One of the best rebounding teams in the country and trying to finish off UNC Asheville and punch their ticket. Game on the women's side. Very cool. so, it's so exciting for the 
team to win their first championship ever. Drew Pember coming off a 30-point triple-double, now in double figures, and we'll go to the line. There's on him at different times. At times, they denied him the basketball. They standing in terms of anticipating and stealing. Uh, they really bodied him up, didn't allow him to get into the paint, and he didn't want it. Zapala draws the contact. That's on Greg Gant. 40th year of the Big South, 39th year of champ week. It's amazing that Zag has played in every WCC champ. He was wide open. They've missed a lot of wide open jumpers and easy baskets in the paint. I think their confidence was rattled at halftime. At the under eight, Esper Granlund now in double figure. Senior from Finland. With the, there's a lot of versatility on the bench for Longwood. Griff Alker's not afraid to put guys in. We'll play up to nine players in a game. They've made nothing easy on Pember today. One of the best ever play in this one. It's hard to think of basketball. They've had so many great players. And I think of Chris Clemens, the young man who was at Campbell, put up ridiculous numbers over his career. But Pember, not only the numbers, but the titles. Player in at least the last 27 years to have a third. Now he needs to be celebrated for his career at Astro. And he's going to have an outstanding career after this, wherever he plays. Eventually, he wants to coach Pember. Well, he needs to get his head checked. <laughs> first before he goes into coaching Mike Morell told us that last night he said he told us he wants to coach a fantastic young man all about the team the transfer from Tennessee to Asheville everything has worked out so the, the hard times he had in Tennessee are a big reason why he's had the success at UNC and in that locker room you can get fired up it's, there's nothing on that card that can make the comeback. Excellent transfers. They take a look at who coached them last. That's a big decision-making factor in who you take as a transfer. They want to know who coached them last and who coached them the best. Zapala is the best. This Doc Battle. Been here a long time, fifth season with the program. Seven wins. An outstanding program builder. They were 16 and 2 last year. They won the Big South regular season and the tournament. Longwood and then some net cutting in about four minutes. Christmas with it. Foul on game. over the home team high point. Who, by the way, we start McDermott at Creighton, brought in a lot of transfers. And Blair is Bodo Bodo. Yeah, freshman of the year in the Big South. Certainly a tough, tough loss. Certainly one that'll sit for a long time, especially when you're hosting the tournament. What a move by Christmas. The glass. And when he can recognize a mismatch, he'll go into the post. Gant inside. How about Christmas? Had just 14 points over the previous three games. It's got a whistle here. The confidence, the identity. They know who they are. They know who their leader is. G.A. Houston. Inside and a whistle. Double-A tournament appearance. Now they have a state-of-the-art facility on campus. You know, coaching is such a consuming... At high point. And <laughs> still with a big lead, Griff Aldridge shakes his head. How can that not be a foul? Richards will be called for one here. Finishing off against UNC Asheville. That is the chalk.
You know, Matt, not only his points and assists, but it's been his leadership all season long. In good times and bad, Waylon Napper has led this team. Esmeralda to Hicks! In his first game of this... For this Longwood Lancers Club. It's a phenomenal feeling to be part of a championship team. Doesn't matter when you get in the game, everybody contributes. And everybody has importance. This will be the fourth largest margin of victory in the Big South Tournament Championship game. Longwood overcomes long odds. The five C in the Big South Tournament will advance to the NCAA Tournament. The Lancers are dancers once again. Longwood established this game right from the beginning with their defense. They were the aggressor. They were the more physical team. And they took down Asheville from start to finish. Thanks.